is one, the supply of land uh, certainly is a lot, lot less than the demand. And according to Senator Tom Atta, that's part of the challenge when it comes to Chamorro Land Trust properties. So the demand for uh, Chamorro Land Trust properties is about uh, 15,000 acres and the supply of lands that's available for leasing uh, only is about 5,000. So uh, that certainly is a real big challenge. The chairman for the Committee on Land told the Rotary Club of Guam this week that over 11,000 applications are on file with the CLTC. Of that count, 85% do not own land, and of the 60% applying for residential leases, only 20% of those applications have been filed to date. Along with the imbalance of the supply and demand, another major challenge, he says, is the funding, specifically for land surveys. Before you can give out any of these lands, you're going to need to survey so that we know where the four corners are. And an estimate of how much it's going to cost to, uh, to do the surveys is about two to $3,000 per lot. And if you were to add up all the potent possible lots that could be given out, we're talking about somewhere between 40 and $60 million. Ada says a lot of these lands do not have access roads or infrastructure, funding for which cannot come from the general fund. A solution, he says, is through the rules and regulations for commercial leases, recently approved by the Guam legislature. The CLTC has since identified nearly a dozen potential properties to be commercially leased, which Ada admits have come with controversy from a segment of the community. But then to the question of then where do we get the, the, the funds to be able to uh, put in the infrastructure and the surveying and all that, uh, that question remains unanswered by that group. It was just last week when the potential properties went before the CLTC. Dozens testified in opposition, including Luke Duaneus from the University of Guam. Have you not learned from the past? Instead of commercial leasing more land, bring justice to those who are, are not even paying. And the commercial the property value from back then has tripled, if not even quadrupled till now. So that's the solution that you have, is have more regulations on the people who are currently paying. Action on the CLTC properties were tabled until March. In the meantime, Senator Tom Adda noted that, quote, magical things happen during election years in terms of addressing land surveys and infrastructure challenges with CLTC property. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.